Hey guys, Lumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. We are back. The production is back on track. If you remembered from the previous episode, we moved to the beta patch, the performance patch, and so we see much better frame rates now, smoother gameplay overall. But as a side effect, in the previous episode, in the initial release, well, in the, in the initial build of the beta, there was a problem with production. And it was uh, slowing down everything. Our profits got cut in half because of that. But now, if you, as you can see, we are back and it's rising bit by bit. So this one, actually, the green production went down to around a thousand from the last episode. And I was just, uh, I just kept it on running. I just kept on running today because a new uh, release, a new build got released. And now it's climbing up, it's now at 2.6 and every month, as each month progresses, that increases and increases. So hopefully, we get back on track fully, so our trains are full all throughout. Let's look at this guy, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good already. Lots of fuel filled with milk and uh, some livestock as well, and yes, with Navy's additions. Universal stake are specifically for new industry 2.4 You can see the milk Getting loaded on the actual wagons now. Yeah, pretty cool. I like that Thanks again, Nafi. Now a couple of suggestions from you guys um, And one main suggestion was to give some love to the bus lines that we have so we'll be focusing on that today Yeah, we'll be fixing some of our uh, existing lines making sure that they're still applicable they're still uh, updated and they cover the city and then maybe they will add uh, two directions for both counter clock clockwise and clockwise we won't go into so much detail like a full-on bus route but we'll just make sure that uh, most of the city the majority of the city is covered okay so let's see first and foremost is pickering i think this got the most uh, the most criticisms <laughs> in terms of its current layout and yeah, I can understand why. Right now... Okay, so what's happening right now is we're getting... Starting from Highfield, going through this main road. Yeah, tracing this way. Ending in the train station. Going back, going back the same way. But branching out here, turning right here instead. And then moving there. The weird thing about this is... We end in the north road, and then to get to high field, we have to sort of go straight and then loop around like so. And uh, this entire part of the city is not covered. So, and actually that one as well. Ah, yes, yes. So this might be a good time to get into that. Let me see, can I combine you guys? Yeah, just to keep it close. So we can actually trace the entire city. So this entire bit is not covered yet. So that one we can definitely improve. So how to do this? Let, let me do something. Let's work on the bus stops first. Yeah, let's work on the bus stops. Uh, how do I add... Oh, this has both two bus stops already. Okay, good. So let me look at the thing here. Let's open that again. Let's make sure that's open so we see the current stops yeah so you see this major part is not covered all these uh, industrial areas so maybe we can make like uh, two lines one which is like circling around and one which is going straight across like the main artery of the city that is a possible thing so let me do something so it's not too drastic uh, if i add one stop here and then I add a depot right here. Well, not a depot, but a station where they can make a U-turn, something like that. Then we can make a new line which focuses on that, like say, start on that line, trace through the main artery of the city, go back the same way, and you have both directions already going there, yes? Something like that. Let's say bus 
Pickering Artery. That's a new term from me, I think. What is this? That's a new icon. Hmm, strange. I think it's the first time I saw that. That might be a... Hmm, I'm trying to see what's the difference, what that's for. Do you guys know? Hmm, interesting. Like, this one I can pick which uh, bus stop it is. But... So we can pick which platform it is, but... That one, I'm not really sure what that's for. It's not like I can modify or I can get any info from that. Hmm. I can't click it as well. So you let me know in the comments, right, what that's for. Anyway, so that, at least that main artery is covered. And so what we need to do is to add buses there. Let's uh, pick new ones. I think I got a couple of new ones. Or did I? I did not, actually. Yeah, we'll stick with the Daimler top seater. The double decker. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go with eight for now. Might be a bit too much, but money is not really an issue right now, yeah? <laughs> and I think it's better to provide good service right now versus uh, maximizing profits. It's important that these buses take the people where they need to go and we can maybe make money on the trains instead. So if, if we make the, the city super accessible, they can go anywhere. And if they we make if we link that to the train station, then they might decide to that it's convenient to move to other cities as well for work, for leisure or whatnot. So all in all it's going to be a win, even if the bus lines themselves don't earn any money. There'll be like feeder buses. Okay, so that part is covered. That means this blue line that's going through this main artery is uh, a bit redundant now. And uh, let me upgrade this. Uh, roads large street bus lane yes and then let's upgrade this one this is, will also help out our trucks that are coming from the food production site that will give them their separate lane and that will uh, lessen the traffic hopefully yeah we will see if it's effective good so, the blue line. The blue line is what we need to change. The blue line, we can actually... Let's see. If I want to go around, I can maybe link them up. Yeah, I can go through here instead. Remove the bus lane. One building will be removed. Oh, man. Really? Do I have no choice about that? I think anyway I go, I'll really destroy something. Hmm. Okay, so let's let's bite the bullet then. 69.6k. It's not, it's nothing big. No worries. Right. And then we go through here. Okay, that looks good. All right. So how do we do this? Let's get some bus stops going. We can start here as well. Hmm. Yeah, we can start there as well. Go through the same here. But instead of going straight down like this, we go right. So we can say connect like that. Go through here. And then uh, over here. We can have like two stops, one there in the beginning of the street and one at the end, right? And then we can have the same stop here and there, here at the train station. And then when they go back, we can take this different route so they can circle around, right? Then we take one there. We... Hmm. Now we go around here instead. And one more over here. And then we can circle all the way there. Although, I, I'm missing this part. So maybe we can go through 
here. Although it's not a very popular place right now, I'm expecting this will be filled with houses eventually. Yeah, and now it's all muddied up. And then return there. Okay, so let's see. Let's uh, remodel this. Let's remodel this. So let's start from there. Go south. Move across the borders of the city. Make a U-turn here. Go back the opposite way. Like so. Right? And then turn right here. Like that. Yes? So we have something. So now we have two lines. We have the pink and the blue line. One is going through, cutting it through straight, straight through the city. And one is going around the borders. So we, we are still missing some roads like this one. Yeah, we don't have... Oh, that's a new autosave uh, looking thing. Ah, interesting. That comes with the patch as well. It's pretty fast though. That's nice. So we can go straight through here. That would have been ideal, but... No, that doesn't work for us. So we're going to miss that part now, and I'm not sure if I will regret that. Truth be told, in a city, there are so many bus lines, but we, we, don't, we won't try to be that complicated. For now, let's keep it simpler. Okay, so that means I can remove these stops, I guess. Let me make sure that all the lines are still here, though. Yeah, okay, so... This one, this is the only one that uh, that truck lane is going to, so the others I can actually delete. Right? Yeah, and that one also. Just making it look organized. Yeah, I think that looks good. Alright, so we can also add in an opposite direction just to cover everything. So let's do that. Let's go and uh, make a new line. Start over at, and I know so many windows now. Let's move this that here. Let's start at this station. Go through. What is the direction we want to go to? This one on the opposite. All right? Yeah, there we go. Exactly. Uh huh. Go there. Go back. And now at least we cover both directions now. Maybe I can go through here. On this line. Hmm. That might be a thing, so at least we cover something. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, let, let me add back the bus stops. I think I like that idea. That one and this one. So going back, instead of going through this same route, it goes through that bit of road there, there exactly, and then that way, okay, and here, yes, okay, I like that, I like that, all right, let's add a few more buses in there, how many do I have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I ca hope I counted that right, let's get eight buses here as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go to the new line, so now we have so many buses, they will be spoiled for choice. Bus, um, Pickering, what is the direction here? Uh, clockwise, right? Yeah. The other one is, the blue line is counterclockwise, I believe. Good. So now I'm expecting all of them will lose money, but at least the people will be happy. And we can also add bus stops, but, well, bus lanes, but not really needed. I mean, absolutely no one drives through here. Only the buses will drive through here, so it's not really necessary. Even here, it's not needed. Let me actually remove that, so we only keep the, the main artery with the bus lane, right? Yeah. That, that's okay. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now we're getting buses. Now we're getting buses. Perfect. Okay. So does that look good for you guys? Pickering? If you look at these three bus lines. And you see the diagram on the city. 
That's how it looks. So we pretty much cover most of the city now, right? I think that's okay. I think that makes them happy. And I hope that leads to more passengers in the train line. In terms of frequency, it's uh, 50 seconds, 60 seconds, and 70 seconds. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Yeah, I think they'll be happy there. A little bit of check. We're up to 2.5 production on grain now. That's perfect. Uh, milk production is not so good though. Why not? Hmm. I hope that climbs up. Okay. Anyway. Moving forward. Next city. Helsum. Yeah, Helsum definitely needs some <laughs> improvements as well. So if we look at the existing... Uh, not that one. Existing bus lines. Oh, I, do ha I did use the artery... Uh, term already before I didn't know that I forgot about it okay the circle line needs to be much more of a bigger circle like we have to I think we can keep that line but we have to extend here at the very least and add a separate direction so we can add like one there and uh, one here does that work yeah that works Right, so going through the circle, that means we don't stop here at the Victoria Road anymore. That means four. We add a stop after that, go through here and there, and circle around the place, exactly. Um, seven, eight, nine, going back, eleven, twelve. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. So how many do we have hit there? Six. Alright, so let's add a new more a new line. Which goes just the opposite direction. So we start off. Let's start off here as well. But going through the opposite way, like this. And just uh, trace through the exact route of this other line. Okay. And uh, the, the sentiment has always been mixed when it comes to these bus lines. Some people say, yeah, it makes sense to have both directions. But some people say in terms of the game, in terms of earning more money, it makes sense to only have one. So that some of the folks will be forced to travel longer. The counter argument there is it might not be beneficial because the people might not ride buses at all. They might just take their cars to work to wherever they're going if it takes too long. So I think, all in all, at the end of the day, having both directions is the way to go. So let's get six buses in here. That should work. Right? Yes. And the direction is uh, clockwise, I guess. So bus, hail Sam, clockwise. This one is counter clockwise. Good. So that should hopefully get more in touch with the city. Yeah, and the hassle thing about that is we'll have to keep on modifying that as the city grows. It's nice that the city grows, but yeah, we have to adjust the bus routes along with it. So it's going to be a continuous work in progress. We have the same problem here actually. Um, let's let me see. In Williston, we have uh, two bus lanes. We actually have bus. Wow, I think this is using the old buses. Okay, let's see. Let's change the color of that. There we go. So at least we can see it better. Hmm. Yeah, we don't cover this part, but I think that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think what I'll just do... Hmm, let me see, let me see. Let's, let's, let's tackle it one, one, lane, one lane at a time, right? One line at a time. So the yellow one is connecting the train station to the city. But the city is very limited. You know what? You know what? I think I'll make it go around the entire way. Yeah. Yeah, and then and I'll put like both directions. Let me let me show you what I mean. Um, so in here, one, two, three, 
instead of going through from uh, the Crescent to Church Street like that, I'll make it go around all the way so that it goes through direct it goes directly to the boat. And what this would do is people from the train can have a direct route going to the boat line. That might help uh, increase the number of passengers a bit like that one. At seven, eight. Um, and then let's remove Church Street as well. So they instead go through here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That works for me. So it goes around these, the city like that. Yeah, and then goes around and then goes back to the train station. I like that. Now, to help with that, I think the bus line, this other bus line, needs to have a different direction. Yeah, and I think it's working already. Yeah, both directions are covered, essentially. Right? The only thing is this is a bit different. So let's go and fix that. Let's remove this Richmond Road thing. Let's instead add uh, this Grove Road. There we go. So now it's exactly the same route as the other one. And it covers most of the city except this part. But I think that's quite near this uh, bus stop anyway. So that should be fine. Yeah, I think that's a quick fix. Now in terms of uh, bus stops, these ones don't have any buses in them, nor do these ones. Right? Any other unused bus stops? We do have like here. Where are you stopping? That one. Okay, so this one is not used actually. Okay, it's fine. Good. I'll take that. Not too bad, I think. And we are now at 300 million. Right, next up, Farnham. Oh, this one needs a lot of uh, <laughs> focus again. We only have one bus line in here. I see. Alright. And so if you need... Oh, look at that. All this untapped potential. Where are we starting anyway? We don't even have a bus station here. Just full bus stops. Okay, so instead of turning right from Broadway here, we go straight. And actually, ah, actually it might be nice to have a bus stop in here if it's possible. Yeah, that kind of works. Because that means we can loop around. So let me see. Let's add bus stops. Uh, let's go through here. There you go. And then go through, loop around maybe, right? So maybe go through there. And then in here. And then this place is relatively still unoccupied, but I'm expecting buildings to pop up there eventually. So we'll need to circle around. Like so. Here as well. And now yeah, we need to cover the entire area. So much space. Yeah, this will definitely help the city. And where do we go from here? That's the question. I think we can go through this bit. And then go back here. And then go and take the other way around. Okay. I think that works. Okay, let's see. So let's remove everything just to keep it uh, fresh, right? So we start here, crawl through the city, the borders at least. And then once we do that, we'll figure out which part of the city we cover and which one we haven't yet. Okay, actually that one we haven't covered. Hmm. Well, they can stop here and walk for now. Well, uh, I'm not really a fan of that though. I think what I'll do... I think what I'll do is I'll... Uh, delete this one. Connect that by road. Like this. Let's make that a small street, fine. 
and then we make a station somewhere here maybe so they can make a u-turn in there like this like that right so we can have one stop in here uh, maybe like that and so what this would mean is after church lane we go through here we loop around and then we go through that way and then we stop here now the question is where do we go if this is such a huge let's go through the border like that okay and it looks like we'll also need like an artery line in here yeah, let's continue yeah that should work you see how much uh, area how big an area we haven't covered this entire middle road yeah that has huge potential okay anyway let's go with a the opposite direction which is uh, where let's start from here so just to keep it uh, uniform right and uh, one sec I think I missed the stop that one yeah so two and then let's go this way exactly yeah, go that way just trace it through go through there go through the stop go back the other way mm, I think there's a too big uh, too large uh, emptiness in there I think we need more stops I'll add that in a bit one sec I'll just let me just trace this one there we go okay good so both directions are now in now this should be bus Farnham uh, clockwise counterclockwise this one is the clockwise and how many buses do we have wow so many so many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so many let's let's start with uh, 16 for now or you know what let's start with eight one two three four five six seven eight which one is the new one this one right yeah i think so good frequency is 81 seconds i think yeah that should be that should be okay shouldn't be too bad good and then let's get another line which is uh, covering the artery that is uh, hmm Ooh, how do you define that even how do you define that you can we can cross from station to station left to right i think that can work and that should also link them to yeah wait a minute before every before anything else I think we have to have a station here right because uh, this is the, the the passenger station so if we can add one there oh that that's perfect yeah exactly and both lines can go and uh, stop there this one would be stop 11 and this one would be stop 9 exactly like so uh, wait a minute no 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 this is stop uh, eight nine ten there you go yeah so we they have a direct connection to the train okay like that so our our artery so to speak oh this it's time to upgrade the the buses we saw a while ago finally there you go we can make a line wow look at that so many but that should even out after a while so let's go and trace through this one hmm that's the question where should we pass through this one i guess yeah just go straight through hmm you know what 
you know what let me instead of going through that north street you go through here yeah cut through that and then here and then go back the same way yeah i think that works oh but this is not oh this is actually not good hmm Let's remove that fifth stop. Good. Alright, that looks good. And let's color that something brighter. And then if you look at the lines, we have three lines right now. Uh, we have the bus farnham artery. And if you look at the lines, uh, one sec. Do we cover them? Okay, we do cover a lot now, but this one still is a bit empty. Yes. Hmm. So maybe we add one more line. We can add one more line where we cover this bit, like artery 2. That can work, and we can add a station here as well, just for that, just to cover all our bases. Yeah, that works. Let's let's do this. Let's try it out. Hmm, we have three. Okay, I think this needs to be bigger. I think this needs to be bigger. Four stops. Do we have anything else? No. Okay. Yeah. Four different uh, platforms because we have four lines which will be going in there. So let's see. So if we try to trace that, that's going to from here, there, and then instead of there, we'll be going through here. And we need the bus stop. We need a bus stop which goes through here. And connects through there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, go through there. Yes, exactly. This is the part that's not covered yet. Eight and nine. And then go back the same way. This is going to look so professional. I hope. <laughs> we will see. Good. Perfect. And if I color you something bright, like that. And if you look at the lines. Then now we cover almost everything, right? Except that bit there, except that bit here. But that's okay. I think I like that. So let's call that the Bus Farnham R32. Good. And we don't have buses there yet, so let's assign eight buses each. I know it's a, it might be a bit overkill, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Assign you to the orange line, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Assign you to the oh, and just the city just grew again. Come on, <laughs> don't grow so fast. <laughs> okay, there we go. Look at all the people in here. Woohoo! Everybody's so happy. Everybody's on a specific line, though. Oh, interesting. On a clockwise line. Oh, that's fine. We'll adjust later on. But yeah, at least we have covered the entire city now again. How about the uh, sandwich? Sandwich. Oh yes. <laughs> that really needs a lot. Oh, we only have one line here even. I see. Yeah. I definitely need a change there. So we definitely need to keep this. And maybe we can have a full-on bus station in here. Because it's... Such a... An important stop. Can you do like that and then connect this by via small road? Of course not. Can I connect any road here whatsoever? Okay, that one works. Maybe something like that. Let, let me see, maybe that will work. Oh, that works, yes. Perfect. 
something like this. Yeah, that one. I think it's fine looking. There you go. And so this one goes there and let's remove the first stop. So everybody just go here. Right? And I hope they just don't walk out. Okay, that looks better. So at least they have a proper stop now with refreshments and everything. <laughs> Not really. Okay, let's have a look again here. This, this is a disaster. <laughs> the city is so big now. Yeah, I've been trying to put it off for so long, but uh, yeah, we really need to focus on these things because it will help the overall picture, the overall supply. And it might improve our score in terms of uh, this one, passenger line usage, 55% actually, but maybe that includes the buses, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go for covering most of the city. We can maybe go and add a stop there. And uh, hmm, maybe... Let me see. Yeah, stop here. And then maybe go through it here instead. Right? And go through here. This looks so different now. So different. Is anyone still passing through there? No, not anymore. I don't think. Let me see. Truck sandwich. Yeah, it doesn't stop there anymore. No one is actually using this bus stop currently. Okay, so we might be able to use that. Okay, let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, what else? If we're trying to go there, we can add a bus stop here. Yes. And remove that one. Alright, and also one here okay so how does that work how does that work let's start at the beginning okay there go around I know that kind of cleared off most of the passengers that were waiting but that's okay they will be back let's just go around the city like so Hmm, where am I going? Where should I be going? Actually, maybe I don't really like that, huh? Maybe it's better to go through here. Yeah, like that. Exactly. Although we're missing a huge part over here on the left. Hmm. Yeah, this might require a more sophisticated line. Just look at how large it is and how empty it is. Yeah, okay. Remodel that one. Let's go through here, go around like that, exactly. And then instead of going through there, we can loop around here maybe. There and then here. Right? So we can add a line there. Exactly. And there. So at least we are able to cover the bound the borders. We'll definitely need lines inside. But at least for now this part is covered. Something like that should work. Ideally. And let's add a new line. Going the same way, but the opposite direction. Right. Uh, that one. Yes. I hate this color, this gray color. It's so similar to the, the street color. That you cannot distinguish them at all. There we go. Okay, so that's covered. 
Now the question is how do we do something inside? Maybe we do like an inner artery thing. And maybe we'll need like a bigger one here, but I don't think it will fit. Yeah. Maybe for that one we don't need a bus station. Let me see. So we have this. Let's add uh, how many are these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's add just eight. I'll add eight for everything for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the new line. Let's call that bus sandwich uh, counterclockwise. No, it's clockwise actually. Right? Yeah, the, or the gray line. And this is the counterclockwise then. Good. So that covers the boundary, the border. Now, how do we go inside? I think it would be nice if we could like make another sphere, another circular lane, but inside. So a little bit smaller radius. Yes, and we can go both directions again. That might work. Yeah, something like this. Let me see if I can try that out. So if we start here, go around like so. Right. And then go through this way. Let, let me change it to a more obvious color so you guys can see what I'm doing. Go inside like that. Maybe touch on the same. Let me see. Uh, and maybe we can have like a touch point there. Yeah, and this one go through the, these stations for a change. And yeah, circle through like that. So we have more or less entire coverage of the city. And then one more, which goes the opposite direction. Right. Oh, a new train. Good. I think that looks good. Yeah? Something that goes around. Why is it? No, it's fine. It's fine. Alright. That looks good. So let's assign this the bus clockwise uh, foreign uh, Where is this? Sandwich? Sandwich, right? Sandwich. Sandwich clockwise. Two? Should be two. Yeah, very creative that way. <laughs> Bus sandwich. Clockwise two. Good. Now we don't have like an artery thing here, so we might need that one as well. Like going from left to right like this. Hmm. Yeah, that might be needed. And then they can do the transfers themselves. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Assign you to the second line. Assign you to the second line. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Everybody happy. Not yet, but they will be. Okay. Let us add a stop here. The border. Let us make sure that all the stops are periodically available there. One more here, one there, one here, and then maybe a bus stop here. Right, and just make a single artery line there. So that's going from here. A uh, gray one again, I hate that. Four, five, six. I think that might be a bit too far, isn't it? Isn't it? Ah, that's fine. I can walk a little. They're too spoiled for choice already, yes it is. There you go. And color that green. There you go. Yeah, so at least we covered most of the city. Let me know what you think if I'm doing this remotely, right? I'm sure a lot of you have much better designs in mind, but I am no expert in bus line uh, fabrication. <laughs> Good, let's assign buses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might not need as many, but that's fine. Good. 
Alright, but that looks better, doesn't it? Much better than the previous one at least. Yeah, let's leave that. And uh, I guess the two up, the to up top we don't really need to focus on much because we just made the lines for them. But we'll, we'll focus, we'll, we'll check it out anyway. Oh, super old buses. How are you guys? Okay. So I <laughs> look at this circle line. Like it only covers half of the city. <laughs> No wonder you guys are complaining. <laughs> oh man, I would be pissed off if I were living here. Yeah, so we definitely need an artery line like so. This one. Yeah. And that one is pretty much okay. We don't have bus stops though. So they're like U-turning from somewhere. Let's, let's have a look at how this works. Magically making a U-turn. In there, I guess. Whoop. <laughs> Illegal U-turn hype. Let's go and add some bus stops in there so it doesn't look as uh, funky as that. There and... Oh, that. Yeah, see? Actually used that already. Immediately. Was so happy to have a proper U-turn slot. This one doesn't though. So let's add one stop in here and there. And remove the first one. There you go. So it starts from there. Uh, I think the last stop needs to be there. Yeah, exactly. And then in here, the eighth stop has to be this one. Um, no. The eighth stop has to be this one. And the ninth stop has to be that one. Exactly. Yeah, that looks good. So for the artery, I think that's enough. Mm. But for the circle line, definitely need lots of improvement there. Yeah, definitely. This breaks my heart when I see that. <laughs> the guys must be so pissed off. Okay. Let's go and complete these stops. I think these are used by our trucks though, but that's fine. They'll uh, live with it. Okay, so let's start off here. One, two, instead of going there, go there instead. Uh, third stop should be that one. Remove that. Fourth should be that. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. That was not what I wanted. One, two, and three should be this one. There we go. Four. Um, nope, not what I want. But I think that will adjust when we place this next stop right here. Five, there we go. And then go have another stop in here. And in here. And maybe one here at the edge. Right? That should work. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So it's going circle right like that now. Perfect. Let's have uh, one more bus that goes the bus line that goes the opposite direction. Five, six, seven. So it might not be earning so much money. We might need to optimize that better, but at least it's proper now. Toaster. Um, clockwise. I hope that's right. Yes, yes. Okay, good. And we add how many buses do you have in the circle line? Wow, so many. So many. Sell all of that. Let's start fresh, guys. Let us start fresh. So, let's add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the artery. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the counterclockwise. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the clockwise. Okay, happy? 
have a look. Let's change that color. And that brown one as well. Make it brighter. There you go. So now the line looks like this. Yeah, a straight line like that and a bit of a circle. Although those are not covered. Um, <laughs> we'll have to bear with it for a while, but you can see the passengers are really piling up now. The artery line looks super famous. That's awesome. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Amazing. And there, there's just a bit of traffic because old buses are getting sold and new buses are, are releasing. But that should be fine. Okay, good. What else? We have uh, Rougely. Rougely, we have tram lines, okay? We have uh, pretty nice coverage here. The only thing we're missing is the opposite direction. So let's do, go and do that. Uh, we start off here. And then let's go the opposite way. Just tracing through the different numbers here. That one, I hope I'm not missing anything. At the end of the day, it should be that have the number, same number of stops as, as the previous one. There you go. So 12 stops? Yeah, exactly. So, Tram Rougely, counterclockwise, right? Yes. Good. And what kind of, how many trams do we have? Four, okay. That one. In terms of frequency, is that right? 89 seconds, 77 seconds. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, let's keep it as is. Good. And in here, let me have a look. Let me have a look. I think we can have one more stop in there. The bus in Northwich. Uh, the night stop has to be that one. And then let's add a new line. Going from the station, up going the opposite way. Right, something like that. Oh, we're not covering some areas though. Pretty soon we might need an artery line here too, because it's starting to really grow. Yeah, this middle is hollow. Mm hmm Yeah. But for now, I think that's fine. And how many buses do you have? Five. What is the frequency? 48 seconds. Okay, that should be enough. Go through the opposite way. Let's uh, label these guys. This is counter clockwise. And this is clockwise. Good? Right, good. So now we pretty much have to be covered, I hope. Let's have a look at the situation. Yeah, we have negative in here. We have income on the artery, but we're losing money on the circle lines. Um, that's like balancing out so we're like basically breaking even but yeah as I mentioned as long as we're bringing more passengers in and yeah it, this might be helping here to fill our trains I'm happy with that okay this one the bus actually this one is earning all the buses here are earning interesting yeah, so it maybe we didn't do such a bad decision in there. Here we have uh, bus, Williston train. Yeah, they're both earning as well. Cool. Good. 53%. Actually, that's very good turnout, huh? And this one is, yeah, this one is a disaster. <laughs> I think we, na we need to sell some buses in here. Let's uh, add one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, only eight for that line. There's too, there was too many to the clockwise line. 
that should be 70 seconds yeah that shouldn't be too bad yeah that frequency should be enough but the artery line is earning those are the new ones we had the two artery lines they're both earning is there traffic i think we'll need some uh, bus lanes eventually but right now let's let's keep it as it is oh sandwich farnham has so many passengers let's add maybe two more trains in there maybe just one for now it's as long as it can get this the trains here are uh, one uh, wait a minute, 143 meters and this platform is only 160 meters we can go and extend it but we'll have to modify it a lot so for now i think i'll just add one more uh one more line in here one more train that was a scotsman right with uh, how many four wagons four passenger uh, compartments like this three four I think five yeah 143 that's the one the sandwich farnham there we go hopefully that doesn't cause any traffic any long waiting times we will see actually in here the opposite is true the toaster sandwich is the one which has a lot of folks but i think that's also in part of the contribution of these buses that we have so many lines look like four different five different lines and uh, many of them are earning but this one is not the artery is not that's fine that's fine that will step up over time good looking really good all right yeah i think we have too many trains in here now like this one will arrive this one will have to wait I think we'll f we're filling it. I wish there was a, a metric, you know. I wish there was a, it was possible to see how much, uh, how filled the lines are, here, the, the tracks, how much they're being used. Let me see. Let, let's, let me have a look. Over this part though, there is no waiting still, so that's good. Okay, so maybe that's okay. Alright, anyway. And then over here, it yeah, looks like things are, yeah, they're pretty happy. They are pretty happy in here. The R3 is really earning a lot, but the circle lines are always losing money. Yeah, I think it's not uh, too optimized. People don't like to go all the way around to get somewhere. They want a straight line, a straight path. Okay, yeah, I think we're good there. If we just have one last look at Pickering. How are you doing? 63%. Wow, that's amazing. Excellent usage of uh, public transportation lines. Beautiful. I, I think it's the first time I got an excellent air. So thank you for pushing me guys to uh, to work on this. It's, I know it's it might have been a real uh, pain to watch, but hopefully... You enjoy that somehow okay how are things here production is going down interestingly enough it's a bit weird i don't get it i do not get it like look at that that's not a full train at all a while ago it was 2800 red so it's really picking up but now it went down again do we have a bottleneck somewhere We did run out of grain, so if we're looking at the potential for grain, there, it's 2.5 in here, but the production is only 1.8, so yeah, we could do much more, we could definitely do much more. This needs to step up. By the next month though, I think that will increase, yeah, just we'll have to monitor that, why it's not uh, behaving for much as we want it to, okay? Anyway, so thank you for staying with me through that painful episode, guys. And let me know what you think if you have other suggestions. In the next episode, though, I think we will try exploring the wood line. 
I saw an interesting one and I think this was in the beginning of the series this was a possible thing so we can add one more product in our repertoire <laughs> is that how you call it uh, logs here take them here make uh, wood wood powder the wood powder we take and we go to we take that to this place which will convert that to paper and paper is already a finished product that can be delivered to cities in the industrial area so since we have a line already which goes to the industries i hope i hope so is it this one yeah it's this one which covers all of the industries and uh, goes to the uh, train stations as well so if we connect that if we create that line it should ideally be connected to all our cities immediately yeah we'll have to double check but i think that should work yeah so that's the idea one sec i did notice something weird are we getting food here still i might have missed something crucial in here which might be leading to that loss of uh, income ah yeah i think i missed this i think i missed this yeah look at this we have there are our two train lines here the red and the gray one the one the the gray one is the crude oil and that's good because i want them to, to focus on only taking crude and fuel yeah so they have tankers actually tanker wagons tanker cars or tankers basically but the con mat is only taking con mats and that means food can no longer be shipped this way right so food coming from here cannot be shipped back i think yeah it can only reach up to this station oh yeah that's a huge mistake that is a huge mistake let's say train uh freight rougely it cannot be just con mats it has to be universal now the the side effect of that is it might just bring coal but no i don't think so we'll have to replace it and we'll have to change it to uh let me see what kind of this is this a milwaukee okay milwaukee and the uh, 33 wagons before i let you go guys let's finish this let's make this work yeah, because i think this is where the majority of the problems are coming from the ni4 that's the one native navy made specifically for for me thanks a lot for that man <laughs> appreciate that 33 wagons okay uh wait a minute how long is that let's maybe weigh that 399 meters okay there you go replace now so that should allow shipment of food again and that should allow shipment of paper as well when that line is ready okay let's see where is this guy it's almost there okay good actually that might also make him bring crude over i'm not sure what how he'll behave there but i guess not yeah, look at that. It's only carrying 17 con mats out of all those things. And it's not bringing anything back. And that's why his numbers are super negative. Like, look at that. Minus 3M. He's barely make. He's not making any money at all. The train freight crucially. Oh, yeah. it's Look at that. It's getting... Oh, what is that? A new truck. Nice. Now it's getting split. There's some crude at the crude line and there's some crude at the freight rougely line as well. So at least it is uh, uh, helping out a bit. I'm not sure what it will do though. If it takes crude here, where will it go? I mean, the train, the crude train, only stops here on the last stop, like, like so, like right now, what that train is doing. But if the freight train takes crude here, drops it off here, that other train will I, I don't get it what like this one doesn't stop there so I guess what will happen is this train will pick crude up here 
but <laughs> it will so the, the the tankers will t take crude from here it will go back to the crude oil here the oil well and it will fill itself up with crude and then go back so it doesn't doesn't quite make sense but let's see okay let's see what this will do okay this guy all right so he has both crude and con mats right oh, I, lo I love that that overpass thing that we have over there that's just such a nice look okay so once you get to where you're going yeah you only have one stop i believe so you will be dropping that off here and you know and then what right and then what that's the question okay here he is So he drops off corn mats, he drops off crude. Oh yeah, exactly. So it, they'll just be circling around. Ah, <laughs> oh, it doesn't make sense at all. How can we prevent that? How can we prevent that? Oh, look at that. Trains are starting to wait on each other. Hmm. Can we say you bring everything but crude I don't think, think so like look at this look at this guy so he'll drop off fuel he'll pick up crude and then he'll bring it back to where the crude is from anywhere anyway yeah, and then he'll take it back here again so he'll like go all the way across that means he's heavier when he's going back and that means he's slower so that's unnecessary super weird super weird okay but anyway fine let's leave it there for now what i'm expecting though is i should get food here again the milk line should be getting or get, should be getting food here again should be getting more food that is assuming you get more okay there we go production for grain is stepping up perfect in this one Okay, we are getting milk and uh, cattle. Perfect. Okay, still not full train, but it's a work in progress, right? Yeah, it's a work in progress. All right, so let's leave it there for now, guys. Any questions, comments you have, let me know in the comments. And uh, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. There we go. We have food here now. Okay, food is back on this line, so it should be taken to this crude oil thing and should be shipped all the way to the cities here perfect now that's back good so thank you for watching if you did like the video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> look at that <laughs> just carrying crude all the way around circling it back oh, let's leave it let's leave it anyway thank you for watching catch you in the next one looking forward to your comments thanks and bye bye